Hi, right, just thought I'd do a quick handover video. We've been doing these now lately. With the COVID-19 situation, we don't we want to be limiting our contact with customers. So we're going to show you all over your brand new speed bike. First, I'll show you how to start the bike. So you got two keys with the machine. All you have to do is put the key in the ignition, turn it on, it'll load up, wait till this menu comes on. You can use either brake to start it. Hold the brake in and press the start button. You don't have to touch the throttle anything like that, it'll just start up. It's an automatic choke on the fuel injection models. Uh, so just let it warm up. Um, so this is your front brake. And this is your back brake. Uh, on the new Euro 4 models, uh, your lights are always on. So as you can see, your front headlights are on. Like so. The only thing you have to have is a high and low switch here. If you're going down a country road, you can put it to high. If you do just want to flash someone, you have actually got the option of just pressing it down and it just returns on its own. Just like a passing button, it actually does say passing on it. Uh, underneath that, you've got your horn. Underneath that, you've got your indicator switch. You just turn it left or right. As you can hear, it'll make a beeping noise and it'll tell you the indicator's on. To turn it off, all you have to do is push it in and turn it off. So when you're coming to uh, turn the bike off, all you have to do is turn the key to the middle and the engine will cut off. To open the seat, what you have to do is you add the key in, don't push it in. You can see it's on the spring there, just let it return back out. Turn it to your left and the seat will undo. Underneath here, you've got your battery in this compartment, your coolant here. Uh, you can actually see, it's a bit hard to see on the video, but there's a little sight glass there. You can see high and low on the coolant. You've got your fuses here, this one and this one. Uh, you've got your manuals that'll come under the seat. You've also got here a 12 volt power supply to charge your phone or anything like that. To lock the seat, all you have to do is push it down. And this hinge here locks into this. All you do is you push it in and that's locked now so at night when you're locking your bike up it's very similar to open the seat whereas before when we said don't push it in to lock it you push it in and turn it to the left steering's got to be all the way to the left take the key out and the steering locks on so if you're ever struggling to uh, open your seat you may have actually pushed it in and when you turn it it won't open your seat you need to make sure you're not pushing the key in um, if you're ever in doubt, take it back out, push it in, and there you go, that's the seat again. Push that, push that. Uh, on this model as well, you can actually upgrade it to a ram mount system to hold your phone. And if you do do that, all you have to do is take this little speed bike, take the glove off. This little speed bike cover comes off, and it just hinges round and locks into place. Just like that. And your ball mount goes uh, off ramp and you can have your phone holding. As you can see, you've got two cutouts here. And what's underneath is you've got a little USB port. Uh, you can see that in the video. Just there. Uh, and that means you can run a wire in here out of one of these little cutouts to the phone mount. And when we're not using it, we just turn it around to make it look a lot neater. I'll show you the clock now. So when you turn it on, you'll see it all light up. This is your engine warning light. This one here is your overheating light. If this ever comes on, stop uh, the bike immediately and turn the engine off and let it cool down. You need to then recheck your coolant, make sure it's not overheating for any reason. This is to tell you your high beams on, and this one is for your indicator. Uh, you've got your fuel gauge here. This will tell you what speed you're doing, and this is how many miles you've done. You've got zero miles on the bike, but if you click it in, it'll go to trip. So you're working out how many miles it is to somewhere or anything like that, that's what your trip meter is for. To reset that all you'd have to do is hold it in and it would reset obviously it's done no miles so it won't show you that. Uh, to put your fuel in the bike, it's just down here. All you do is you lift that up, get your key, put it in, turn it to the side, give it a tap. As you can see it's got a full tank of petrol. All you have to do to lock it is push it back in. Turn the key again, pull the key out, and that's the bike.
Uh, thanks for watching this video. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you about the oil. Uh, your oil is on the right hand side of the bike. To check it, all you have to do is unscrew the lamp cap. What you'll notice, you've got these hatchings here. Camera focusing. So this will be your low mark. Uh, this will be your low mark, and this will be your high mark. You want to make sure there's always oil showing on that. The bike has to be on level ground with a cool engine. So all you have to do is put it in, dip it in. That's what it's called, dipstick. Pull it out, and as you can see, the camera will focus in. There's oil actually on there. But as I say, you make sure the bike is cold, leave it for like half an hour after running. But make sure you're always tight it up so it doesn't come loose. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, just give us a ring or message us on Facebook. Cheers.